Very good. Nice job. Another round of applause. How about it? Dude, that's my jam right there. The, the thing I love about that song is like it, it really teaches you a lesson. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have to spend your money. <laughs> And that's what me and Mackenzie do. Because of that song, we shop online all day. <laughs> all day? That reminded me to clean out my closet. Seriously, and I need to donate. Donate to where, Mackenzie? Yeah. Uh, Goodwill. Like all four closets. Yeah, so how did this partnership come about with you and Goodwill? You know, it was just the song itself. You know, the, the you know, it's cool is... Um, uh, songs even in uh, that I write all the you know when the the Sugarland stuff they all have messages in them but I kind of want you to to discover them later like you're just singing along you're like oh I love this song what is that like what oh. happened to me with the trailer hitch right right he's you're telling like... me to shop online <laughs> <laughs> that's what it means but tell everybody what do you have going on with Goodwill in case people don't know what's going on with Goodwill what do you got well you know um the song itself kind of asks the question and Goodwill provides the answer if 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 uh you're wondering what to do with all your stuff that maybe you have one too many pairs of shoes. I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe I you don't. I feel like you're looking just at me. No? <laughs> yeah. You might want to Maybe you have one too yet. many pairs of shoes. Um, uh, that, then you can take it to Goodwill, and they take that. Um, it's more than a thrift store, uh, but it, on the outside, that's what it looks like. Um, and I, I became kind of the uh, uh, curious about it, and then we became uh, kind of partners in this communication of how do you rediscover something that you already know? How do you rediscover Goodwill? You think it's a store, but actually it provides jobs for thousands and thousands and thousands of people a day. You know, and, and I think that's kind of neat. And as I've traveled around, you know, I like that this song has an extra life, and I'm very proud to be their, uh, their ambassador right now. Their national ambassador right here. This, this is, is so cool. And Christian, like Goodwill royalty. You are very stylish. Usually you're rocking the fedora. Why'd we change it up today? I don't know. Any I reason? keep changing hats, was you know, every once in a while. Goodwill. This is a Buck right. Owens hat. <laughs> That's cool. You know, I, there's no, no shame in Buck Owens. No, not at all. I, I like know. it. The beard is starting to come out a little bit. People think I'm Craig Campbell or something. <laughs> Very Portland. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, yeah, you mentioned it. It's got to be tough, though, for Jake, because he, he does all his shopping in Goodwill, and he really wants to be the spokesperson, so to be yeah. standing in front of the spokesperson. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I want to be like, and I know you're a national ambassador. If you need, like, a junior regional ambassador, <laughs> like, yeah, call like me, man. Jedi apprentice. You'll know where to find me, aisle yes. four. <laughs> yeah. He's running oh, with envy, literally. Yeah. You can see his hair. Is anybody one of the things Christian said is he wants to uh, talk to you guys? You know, he said some of the most interesting questions don't come from us dumb radio people. They come from the people listening. I didn't say dumb. He didn't say dumb. I'm adding dumb because we are. Who does anybody have? Is there anything any you're interested in knowing over there? Yes, and don't ask something you don't want to know the answer Here, to. Let me like, do the mic because people you know are listening the, at if home. If you get right. an award before you get it, kind of question. <laughs> Here, do it into the mic. Here you go. Any chance? Is there going to be any chance that Sugarland will be getting back together and touring? Of course. So uh, Jennifer and I are still together as a band. You guys don't hate each other. Oh no. <laughs> and uh, so what happened? Uh, if you if you follow along, and a lot of people ask that question. Um, she decided to, uh, she fell in love and decided to have a family for the first time. And that's Aww, all. Yes. let's hear it for that. Yes. And uh, my, my kids are 10 and 13, so I'm in a totally different space. <laughs> I'm freaking out a little bit because he's going into eighth grade and the girls have discovered him, but he hasn't discovered the girls. <laughs> Does he name drop any? Like, is he like, oh, no, he, my dad is in he Sugar doesn't, Land. He doesn't. But my daughter, she's going into fifth grade. She said she went to a new summer camp this year. And, she, and I was like, did you tell her, tell your friends anything? She's like, no, not till the last day. Oh. I was like, That's oh, I see. Yes. You were using this, yeah. aren't you? You little craziness. Okay, we have one wait, in wait. the middle there. Hang on, we're going to bring the mic to you so everyone can hear yeah. the question. What year was it I was volunteering at the Oregon Garden and you guys came, the three of you came. What That's year right. was that? Uh, that would have been 2006, because one of my first shows was at the uh, with Brad Paisley here at the, what did they call it? Would they call it the Rose Arena? Roseland Theater? No, or it was no. at the arena. The oh, the Moda Center now? Well, yeah, but what was it then? Rose Garden. It was the Rose, Rose Garden. Garden. So it was the year that that happened, because well, I realized I had been in Oregon twice in the same like summer, and I had discovered the Hawthorne uh, food trucks. <laughs> yeah. And I yes. had discovered the Pine State Biscuit <gasps> thing. Yes, yes. And between those two things, I was like, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to move. <laughs> This is so good. But I saw you, and I like was volunteering, and I have pictures of you guys all three together coming yeah. from backstage, and so it's fun. I mean, really, honestly, all of you have been supporting uh, my 
my songwriting for so, so long, and I'm very grateful. And we might not even know it, too. That's the great thing. Is yeah, some cool. of the songs that we love, you could have wrote, and we have no idea. Yeah, well, it's kind of fun that way. Yeah, I, you right. know, I'll play one for you, actually. Let's do it. You wait, 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 hold on. A couple more questions. Uh, we yeah. still got more from the audience here. Oh. <laughs> okay, Jennifer just did a duet with Reba. Who is the one person you would like to do a duet with? You know what? Somebody asked me this the other day, and I've always like tried to sidestep the question because, you know, Jennifer's my duet partner, right? Except that now I think I want to do one with Kelsey Ballerini. Oh, nice. that would be so awesome. Just because. Yeah, because I, I'm a really big fan of hers. I love what she's doing. I love who she is. She's from Knoxville. I am too. I follow her on Instagram. I'll tell her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you too would be like Thanks, the John. nicest people ever because just, you're just I true blue her. and sweet. You know, I'm a new artist right now. There's a lot of people I'm traveling around the country and, and I'm with other new artists. And Kelsey and I have been on radio tour for a year together and it's awesome. So I would say her. She would be a wonderful partner. And one more here from the third row. Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, I read somewhere that you love breakfast, and so whichever city you're in, you try to find a really cool spot to hit up. Have you found any great spot or spots here in Portland to hit well, up? Well, the, the aforementioned uh, biscuit, the, the Pine State biscuit thing, but that also puts you into a coma. <laughs> Food so coma. I'm looking for the uh, like at least like two steps down from that. Um, is there a Bijou? Somebody say there's a McDonald's right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's two steps down. I, I know I have to stay away from the donuts that are here because the donuts, you guys have like nuclear powered donuts. The C and B. Yeah, you like uh, drop voodoo. it on you and it's <laughs> Well, let's get to that song you were gonna play.